Classic Sonichu strips. Sonichu comics drawn before the comic book. Sonichu, 25 years later, by Christian W. Chandler. Drawn June 13, 2004. It is the year 2029, and Rosichu goes out to find Sonichu, chopping firewood. Sonichu is adorned with gray armor and has a sword. Wow, honey, says Rosichu, you are quite the hard worker. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart, says Sonichu, striking a pose. I could cut 100 logs before breakfast, he boasts, but I ate lunch a couple of hours ago. <laughs> Sonichu by Christian W. Chandler, drawn January 3rd, 2004. Hey, Rosie, says Sonichu, what's new? Well, Sonichu, I've been living my life and being beautiful, says Rosichu. But seriously, I wish I didn't have to work so hard. I'm tired of it. But being with you, a great friend, makes me feel much better. Aww. Me too, Rosichu, says Sonichu. Anyway, says Rosichu, I'm... Behind them, Black Sonichu looks at the couple from behind a rock. A storm cloud appears over his head, indicating he is in a bad mood. And that's how I've been, says Rosichu. I understand your feelings, Rosie, Sonichu <laughs> says. He hands her a package. Here, happy Valentine's Day. Aw, oh, you're so sweet, says Rosichu. She looks back in surprise. What? Sonichu asks. Black Sonichu, quit following us around, Rosichu says. Black Sonichu emerges from his hiding place, clearly displeased. Sonichu by Christian W. Chandler, drawn May 8, 2004. Sonichu, says Chris Chan Sonichu, Nate Zirk has my ma. We have to save her. I'm with you, Chris Chan, says Sonichu. He won't get away with this. I just hope she's all right, says Chris. Ha ha ha, laughs Nate Zerk. When those hedgehogs learn of your capture, they will run into my trap. Behind him, Chris's mother stands helplessly in a cage. Suddenly, from behind the door to Nate Zerk's lair, Chris and Sonichu come crashing in. Nate Zerk, warns Chris, release my mom or we will give you the shock of your life. Yeah, says Sonichu. Take one step closer and I'll press this button friends Nate Zirk, which will make your mother's cell explode. You don't want to do that, do you? Ha! Ha! A step, huh? asks Chris. How about a spark? Sonichu! Got it, says Sonichu as a bolt of electricity flies out from Chris's fingers. Oh no, says Nate Zirk. <laughs> Panicking, he triggers the remote, but before the signal can reach the explosives, Sonichu vibrates through the bars of the cage, exciting his molecular structure to the precise quantum frequency that passed through solid matter. Lifting Chris's mother in his arms, he escapes the cage the same way, emerging nanoseconds before the explosion engulfs the sinister menagerie. With his mother secure, Chris beats Nate Zirk into submission with a tire iron, then reverts back to his human form. Are you all right, Mom? Chris asks, as he and his mother reunite over the bloody, broken body of Nate Zirk. I am now, thanks to you and your son, says Mrs. Chandler. Happy Mother's Day, says Sonichu. 